So we want to know, tell us about your husband, Clem. Well, where do you want me to start? What sort of man was he? Oh, he was um, a very patient little chap, really. He's got a lovely sense of humour. Was he a practical joker or...? Yes, he could be. Yes, definitely. Have you got any memories of jokes that he might have played on people? Oh, a long time ago. He used to play... He was best man at a wedding and played a, played a joke on the bridegroom. But... Uh, can you tell me what the joke was, or is it not appropriate? <laughs> well, it was, uh, you know, he, he uh, used a bit of flour and uh, got in the, the bridegroom got in the car, you know, and um, got a bit of a dose to, uh, This flower sort of was uh, on the seat and came through and uh, made a bit of a mess of him. So he was at the altar with a white bottom? Yes, <laughs> yes. I'm always very interested, if this isn't too personal, in how couples met and what the proposal and the wedding was like. Oh, right. Well... Yes, uh, first met uh, at um, at a hotel one one Christmas. Uh, a previous boyfriend. Um, or a boyfriend that I was going out with at the time, his father and mother invited me to spend Christmas with them at the Regent Hotel in Leamington. And Clem was, at the time, he was training in hotel management at the Scottish Hotel School in Glasgow. And being Christmas, he'd got time off and he came back home. He lived in Kenilworth at that point with his family, his mother and father and brother and sister. And uh, he uh, got work at the Regent <clears throat> over Christmas. And that's where we first sort of met really we didn't meet in any way formally we just he was there working and i was there enjoying myself <laughs> but um then uh later on there were five five girls all friends in this area I was at school with a couple of them and two others and we used to walk to Kenilworth on a Sunday afternoon to a, a cafe in Common Lane. Mm -hmm. And uh, for, for view the talent, I think, really. <laughs> the truth were known. And uh, Clem used to be there sometimes with a friend having a cup of tea. So we sort of um, met up again in a in a funny sort of way, no sort of introduction properly. But one of our group, Valerie, she knew Clem. She was a bit keen on him, actually. And uh, it sort of developed. So he was <laughs> well, training in hospitality. So is that the job he went into? Oh, yes, yes, he went in originally into hospitality. And um, not a not a good thing to do if you want to bring up a family. Mm. 
certainly in those days it wasn't because the um, hotels didn't provide anything very special as an accommodation, you know. It's a bit different now, I think. Yeah. But in those days it was not really family orientated. So he went into um, industrial catering and uh, then he he eventually uh, worked for Rackham's uh, okay. um, in the food section. You had children together. Yes. Was it? You've got a son. A son and a daughter. A son and a daughter. Yes. And what was he like as a dad? Oh, he was a good father. He was a very good father. Was he strict or? Not strict enough, in my view. I used to think he used to be. He should be have been more stricter sometimes, especially with Hugh, not with Ruth Mary. She was a good little girl. She never. She really was a good little girl. Was there anything that Clem was particularly proud of? An achievement or a? He was very proud because he was very very happy at his school. Mm -hmm. he went to. And he did hold, uh, uh, he was held in quite regard there. So. And he was a good sportsman, and uh, he was a good rugger player mm -hmm. and a good cricketer. Okay. Because he was very proud of what he did in that area. Mm -hmm. mm. I don't know about his academ academia, I don't think that was as good as it might have been. <laughs> Sometimes it goes that way, doesn't it? You're strong in sports, maybe yeah. less so on paper. Yeah, yes, that's right. I don't think he was... He was quite capable of more, I'm quite sure. Mm. Mm. But um, he was very good. Uh, it's a, what a letter, I don't know where it is, but I got it somewhere from the headmaster when he left and written to my father and mother-in-law to say how... Uh, how they'd miss him there because of the way he uh, dealt with the younger boys and, um, you know. So a good role model. Yes. Is and Hugh's, so Hugh's the same with the young army cadets. Mm -hmm. He's just the same. Very, very good with them. And he was proud of that kind of thing. Is that positive role model character something that Clem continued throughout his life? Oh, Was yes. he like that as an adult? Oh yes, he was always well. He was always good with the children, our children. Mm. You know, he's never. Uh, they were never a nuisance. Not not. Uh, uh, he, he, they'd have to wait if he he didn't sort of jump to their. Uh, what they wanted immediately, mm. but. Um, they always knew that he, he would be there when they wanted him. And they'll talk to you about him mm. a lot. They talk a lot about uh, their father, actually. Things I never knew. So let's talk about the Memorial Park then, because you've chosen yes, the okay. Memorial Park as the place to have a bench for Claire. Oh, yes, it was the obvious place. What was what made it the obvious place? Well, because I... You, I went there f from day one practically. Mm -hmm. uh, went there every day as a child. And uh, and Clem also went, he, he used to go there and play football I suppose, I don't know what he did as a child. Anyway, he said he used to go to the Memorial Park a lot. It was, you know, it's a wonderful place to go to for children, isn't it? Mm, it is still now, yeah. Mm. As you sit on the bench, you can see the Avery. Yes. Over there. Yes. And did you, did you choose that location for the bench? Yes, because there's a tree. As, a, as you sit on the bench, there's a tree across the path, and then there are one, two trees. And the one exactly opposite the bench is in memory of my brother-in-law, Hugh. And uh, he was killed in Burma mm -hmm. in 1945. Okay. And this tree was planted by his father and mother in memory of him. 
okay. sea. So it is a nice spot, isn't it? It is, it's lovely, yes. And uh, it was exactly where I wanted it. They were very good, the park people.